welcome back to the Bitcoin Layer. I'm Nick Batia. Today's episode is about Bitcoin mining. Now, I had a little fun on Twitter, X as I usually do, post a question to the audience. What is the quietest house miner that one can buy so that your wife doesn't complain about the sound? Asking for a friend, obviously. Now, the reason that I'm obviously asking for a friend is at the moment, I am not looking to set up a Bitcoin mining operation in my house, allegedly. But in the interest of the public, I wanted to relay the responses here because I think that you guys, first of all, you guys are brilliant. You guys are located around the world. You come from different professions and backgrounds. A lot of you are incredible engineers. And I find that fascinating because I am far from an engineer. And so this is, I want to just share some of the comments, some of the replies, and talk about what are the products out there for home mining? What are the implications? Why did I even ask this? Now, the reason that I asked this is that let's say you had the ability to generate electricity during the day via the sun and you have excess electricity. Now, how can you effectively sell that electricity back to the market and gain something from it when the generation is in excess of your ability to consume? You can buy an enormous amount of batteries, save them for later, save that electricity for later, you can consume it, or you can try to sell it back to your utility. Now, Bitcoin mining is a way to effectively sell this electricity, and but you're selling it to your own Bitcoin mining machine f in exchange for potential Bitcoin mining rewards. And so in that way, Bitcoin becomes this grand electricity arbitrage, something that has fascinated us from the beginning at the Bitcoin layer. We're talking with different people about Bitcoin mining and the electricity arbitrage, the role in grid balancing. Go check out our most recent episode with Daniel Batten. The, there are so many implica implications for Bitcoin mining and how it changes, fundamentally changes electricity consumption. Go definitely check out as well the episode we did recently with Fred Thiel in which he is describing the capturing of energy from different parts of the world via different methods in order to gain electricity for Bitcoin mining and have that Bitcoin mining act as a win-win because it generates revenue. The Bitcoin layer is proud to be sponsored by Unchained, the leader in Bitcoin financial services. Unchained empowers you to take full control of your Bitcoin with collaborative multi-sig vaults where you hold two of three keys and benefit from a Bitcoin security partner. This is a really important feature. You can purchase Bitcoin directly into your cold storage with Unchained's trading desk and completely eliminate your exchange risks. Unchained also offers the best IRA product in the industry. You can convert easily your 401k or IRA into Bitcoin while keeping control of your keys. Don't pay more in taxes than you have to. Go talk to them today, unchained.com slash TBL, and make sure you use code TBL for $99 off when you create an account. Imagine losing your Bitcoin fortune to a house fire or to accidental damage. A complete nightmare, right? It's estimated that over 30% of Bitcoin are lost forever and poor seed phrase security is a big reason why. That is why we use Stamp Seed, a really cool DIY kit that allows you to stamp your seed into these titanium plates. So let me show you how it works. They send you a titanium plate. Part of the kit comes with this really easy to use tracker. You slide your seed phrase into the tracker. Now you take the letters that they send you, you take a letter out and you place it into your device. And then you take this incredibly heavy duty titanium hammer and you hammer your letters in to this titanium plate, your full seed phrase will be stamped into this titanium plate that is fireproof, accident proof, damage proof. These 
tools have been specifically designed by people working in titanium stamping for over 14 years. So go check them out today, stampseed.com, and make sure you use code TBL for 15% off of your order. Now the first reply that we will go through is from our dear friend Matt Snow over at Trammel Venture Partners. Shout out to Snow. He says you can modify the bit axe to make it very quiet. Now this was a very popular response. A lot of people mentioned Bidax, and the reason is because people are doing this at home. People are home mining. They're doing so to gain an electricity arbitrage. They're doing so to convert electricity into heat. People are doing it to heat their pools, their closets, and things of that nature. There is so much potential for Bitcoin mining. And the reason that I propose my original question in that way is that noise pollution from Bitcoin mining can be something that makes people not want to experiment. So I had that similar idea. What if I were to have machines? How would we manage the noise? So then Bitcoin 21 HODL says, here's an interview I did this week with at Solo Satoshi, where you can order a Bitax directly. And so go check out that episode, talking with Solo Satoshi about how you set up these Bitaxes. Aaron Malone says, the Avalon Nano 3, or if you want to do it yourself, an S19 board, watch our videos at 21 million films so go check that out thank you aaron rob w at bikes and bitcoin says 100 percent a bit axe do you want the heat though so that is an important consideration are you converting electricity to bitcoin mining and generating noise are you generating heat or are you trying to suppress either of those two things if you have it in some outdoor shed, the noise might not be a factor. If you have several, then the noise might start to be a factor. If you have it inside, do you want the heat? Are you trying to generate the heat or not? Are you going to try to exhaust it? These are all important considerations. AA Victor says you can run any 110 volt miner in a tank of mineral oil and that will run silent. Heatbit here says on their profile, award-winning home devices that mine Bitcoin, heat, purify, earn. So I want people to go check these devices out. I want to also be specific here. The Bitcoin layer is not sponsored by any of these mining devices. We are not sponsored by any mining companies here. We've had several people from the industry on the show but we are not sponsored by anybody. So please do your own research. We don't endorse or use any of these products yet. And so at the moment, right now, all I'm trying to do is show you guys what's out there. And I understand that a lot of you that replied to the tweet, you guys are home miners, but most of you watching out there and listening are not home miners. You might think that mining is not a mom and pop operation. And you might be right depending on your own electricity costs, your input costs. But some of you out there have the ability to do this and you might not know it. And so check out some of these companies. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you use them and what you think about home Bitcoin mining. Thanks for sticking with us today. This quick episode with the Bitcoin layer. I'm Nick Batia. We'll catch you guys next time.